last year at BravoCon, you go up on that stage and you were asked a very uncomfortable question. People seem to forget this. You were asked a very uncomfortable question and you said that Dorit and PK likely aren't going to be the couple that lasts in the long run. And as we see, the season kicks off with Dorit and her feelings. You're right. At BravoCon, I was asked that question. I did not want to answer it. And so literally when I walked down to the edge of the stage, it was the first thing that flew out of my mouth. And then I later come to find out you know, uh, something else is going on. Um, I feel very badly about that because I should have said something silly and stupid. I don't know, someone else, but that's not what happened. And I can't take that back. I do sincerely apologize to Dorit, who I consider a friend, and I don't want to hurt anybody. I feel terrible about what I said and certainly did not mean it in any other way. But, you know, it is what it is and I have to pay for that. Right, right. Well, it's amazing to see how far you've come. And I got to say, speaking of other friends, of course, you and Kyle, with everything going on in Kyle's life this season, I got to say, it must, It's. I feel like it's kind of a good thing that she had you, because if anyone knows what it's like to have your marriage heavily scrutinized, it's you. So what was it like for you to kind of be there for Kyle as she was kind of dealing with all of her marital issues this season? You know, I'm without disclosing my private conversations with Kyle, I will tell you this. I am Kyle's friend, no matter what happens. It is her marriage with Mauricio. It is not our marriage as a, you know, audience base, I mean, or as a cast. It's two people that they need to do what is right for them. I love Kyle and I will, you know, be there for her no matter what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, and yes, and I did say, hey girl, (laughs) this is gonna (laughs) suck because it does. (laughs) <laughs> it's hard. You know, I think that it's hard because she has four, four beautiful daughters and it, it's just tough. We got to switch from friends to not so close of friends. How would you describe your friendship with Sutton as we get to see this season play out? I think it's very, you know, it's mercurial at best. And it's really on her terms because I'm not someone that's going to flip on you for no reason. I'm not someone that's going to take a swipe at you you know i and i see her doing things not only to me but to others and it's just disappointing because you know you wonder like what are you doing this for the camera are you is this how is this who you are did someone tell you to do this is this what you feel and if so why you know if, if your friend kyle is going through something why are you why are you so invested in an ugly way why why aren't you more caring and loving like i i don't know i there are moments of Sutton that are great, and then there's it, it, it ends up in disappointment, quite honestly. It would be easy and fun and funny, and we have so many cultural things, you know, being from the South, but the unpredictability is just a turnoff, quite honestly. Very much so, my friends. And one other person I want to ask you about is Garcelle. You two definitely did not see eye to eye last season on quite a few things. Does that kind of spill over into this season as well? You know, no, I think that Garcelle and I, you know, I I remember Garcelle saying to me last year at BravoCon, I want to work on my friendship with you because we started out as friends. And I said, yeah, sure. And I think we have. Um, I, you know, obviously did the wrong thing um, with Jack and have apologized and owned that 100%. And I hope going forward that she and I can have fun and... You know, she when when Garcelle loosens up, she's a good time. You know, when Garcelle loosens up, she's a good time. <laughs>